because I have to go outside sometimes. Yeah. So they're like, take these to save warm. I'm like, excellent. And then I just bring them to Smash events. All right. So <laughs> we got some Dan Lucius. The Dan Lucius special at this point. <laughs> Dan Lucius. Playing that 2% lead. Let's go. <laughs> Time him out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 7% lead. Play it. All right. Definitely okay. a lot of fun to these people. Or I feel like people are a, lot of them a bit more timid to go in against Ned. Dude is like when he has an amazing punch game, he also does a great job of setting up that wall. Oh yeah. And the wall is being set right now. I mean, you're at over a 15, over a 20, over a 30. I keep adding and adding percent deficit, and you really just, I mean, you're gonna get off stage. You're gonna like, you're gonna have the problem of ledge pressures now. Yeah. And as we've been seeing the whole time, that is so good at just against pressuring the on ledge. Yeah. Against uh. I think it was no. Against um, what's it called? Against uh, Dan, against SBF that we saw. I'm sure everyone's been watching him uh, off stream too. You've been probably seeing him just dominate everything. Just down to up smash. What was that quick percent? Does one of those anything? He really wanted to. Make it. He does want to close the stock out fast, so I could definitely see why he went for that forward air. Uh, forward air. <laughs> But, um, I feel like Mario is one of those characters where it's medium risk, high reward for a majority of the interactions. Oh yeah. Whereas Sheik is like low risk, medium reward. Uh oh. No jump. Good job, but back are gonna take it. Not yeah, doing a good job of waiting, uh, watching ledge and the platform. But that's what I'm talking about from like way earlier. Um, you have to watch it for both. If they were just ledge there, he could just follow Dan completely. Leave, but there he had to like wait a little bit, hover almost, mm -hmm. and then he had to react from there. So a good job reacting and down here. I guess I'm down, but nowhere. On the air there. Back to spacing. Catching these air dodges. It kind of feels like you have to air dodge against the Sumo and uh, Mark, especially if you're holding like inward DI. Oh yeah. Up, up he goes. I'll smash, oh, gonna take it, yeah. Wow. A really good extra credit there by uh, Ned. I mean, 100% is so, like, juicy. If you're Danny, I think you're just gonna, like, pay a bit pay more patience. Just, yeah, go for, like, stuff that he can't punish you really for or get out of. Because, like, as we've been saying earlier, you know, he can get out of those uh, combos, so. I feel like Dan is kind of struggling with the... There are certain types of combos you can go for that are... Uh, that like kind of over like bypass the whole up being out there out of uh combos with the mid frames yeah brain the like word for it so like things like going for rising up air bear and then resetting down like, yeah kind of reset or going in for like a back air run up shield and then like i feel like he's not incorporating this kind of 50 50 in those combos he's just going for the minimalistic combos so going to uh smash roll now this is his favorite stage. Oh yeah. Especially for the smash up, it looks like. He's been doing pretty good on it, I mean... Sorry? He's been doing pretty good on it, um... I mean, before in, uh, winner's semis, but... I mean, now I feel like Ned's just kind of, like, rolling over him. I feel like there needs to be, like, a change of pace, almost. I feel like Ned's been really dictating this whole... I mean, even since game one, he's been dictating pretty much the pace, and, um... It's been hard for, uh... Dan to really catch up, I would say. Here's that damage you needed. Yeah, but you're so behind him. Like, I mean, like I said, that's pretty much been dictating. Like, you get that quick percent, sure, but unless you're, like, taking stocks, like, as he takes stocks or earlier than him, I mean, you're gonna be behind pretty much, I feel like. Yeah, I can, I can never see that. <laughs> Sorry, but. Yeah, now we're at, uh. Where Ned's just kind of waiting for Dan to do something, you know, you're not really, uh... How do I say that? You're not really... Yeah, so this gonna is approach kind of like where Mario struggles, is, uh... You, ha you have to wait for your opponent to pick a defensive option, such so as spot dodge roll and, um... Spot dodge roll and shield, otherwise you're not gonna get in. Oh yeah. Mar especially at these percents, because if your opponent doesn't smash... Uh, Ned. Ned won game one. Yeah, so like even in these situations, Dan kind of is struggling. Oh, I can take the stock yet, but 
now, I mean, Dan's like living pretty, pretty well, but I'm still gonna take it, of course. So proud of you. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> Those beautiful eyes, what? <laughs> I mean, uh, what's up, Sean, Ned, though? But Dan was living for like a while there. He, um, 150, I guess, I mean, Lucina is a long time, I would say. Yeah, it definitely, well, like, even with Lucina, she does still kind of fall for some of the things that, uh, Mush falls for. Good DI. That, uh, Mush falls for. <laughs> Uh, where like you can't get that kind of that kill and you don't want to commit to the F smash for the up smash, so yeah. you kind of just wait it out. And then Lucina has better kill options at those percent, so up tilt, F tilt, and uh, rising up here. Yeah. But now, I mean, he's, he's put 60% on Dan already, and it's getting, I mean, pretty, how do I say, pretty scary for Dan. I mean, a couple combos, I mean, will definitely uh, get this uh, percent more even, but. You have to also remember that Ned will also just rack, keep racking up percent like he is now. All the percent that you added, he just made up already. That, that's the definitely winning the majority of the exchanges. I'm trying for like an air dodge there, I think, but I think we'll get it. I feel like Dan eating. keeps waiting for air dodges that aren't really there. Yeah. Could be a conditioning thing too, maybe trying to condition him for something, but... I think it's kind of like an hour and everything. Because if you don't win this game, you're at the mercy of, um... Either getting 3 0 or you're at the mercy of two of Ned's counter picks. Yeah. Or, or uh, at least two. Ford, I can take it yet. Very scary. Up tilt. Great gonna action. take it. Yeah, Didn't not look at me. Yeah. I mean, you, you came from, you know, Winners Finals after beating him. Granted, yeah, they were not the closest games, but you still beat them, you know? So you really, I feel like, you're not as, I don't think not warmed up, but you're not as, um... Never feels like the Wooster. Yeah. Bowser? Loser? Loser? So I got some Bowser going on. Oh, we got Crash here walking. What's up, Crash? Dude? Right now we got Bowser, so... Dang, showing us some grapplers real quick, and, uh... I, like I feel like this is, like, the same boat as DK. I mean, you're not gonna have the best time because you're a grappler, but... You never know. Maybe Dan is actually better than who's a really good Bowser. Like Tweak, or no, Tweak is DK. Uh, Nairo, there we go. <laughs> One of the rappers, but still, you have to very. He's, he's very careful about that. I mean, Dan or Ned's kind of steamrolling at this point, but I mean, Ned's ledge trapping is actually insane. Like really good. I okay. have to say insane like 50 times about his ledge trapping. It's just so good. <laughs> Scanner World and Fortress there got some quick percent, but I mean, you're still super behind. Jab him a couple times. Damn, yeah, look at the box. Coming in with the jabs. Down throw. Good match. That, you do have to match for that upbeat. Just for, I, for people who DK, don't you know. have to match. Yeah. No specific map. It's not like the faster you mash, the more high, the higher you go. It's like uh, for the actual like pacing for the mash, but it's not you just mash as fast as you can in order to uh, get the maximum height. There's like an actual pattern. So fun facts for you who didn't know that either. I, I know for Bowser, I don't know if the same thing about DK. I think DK is. I don't think you mash for DK, dude. Oh wait, no, you don't. Oh, yeah, I don't mash for DK, but with Bowser, yeah, there's like a specific mash you have to do in order to um, get maximum height in distance and all that fun stuff, but. Now just racking a really quick percent there, and now lapping him. Kind of it's kind of interesting, is uh, nope. avoiding going for the, uh, just going for dash grabs. He's mainly spacing with the uh, falling areas. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I think Dan's just uh, trying to have a little bit of fun right now, but... No to grab there. I think the up tilt too, quick 14%. And this is a really scary position, I mean, in general. DK with, or any of the grapple rage can kill you, like, really early, especially Bowser. 70 percent Yeah. Especially Bowser, though, like, he, um, he has really good options, uh, especially for shield breaking. Uh, he's a pretty good option there, too, so... Let's see what happens. Dan definitely feels it. I think it's the grab, he dies. Yeah, one pummel me. Oh. No, definitely just grab he dies, I'm pretty sure. At this point at least. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Not gonna hit the stock yet! Okay. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Real has big guys right now. <laughs> it might be outside of uh Ooh. Bob percent. 
You never know. 70%. This might be like the lot. He can't, probably can't get him. What? I'm going to yep. take it. Good job, Dunad. Uh, definitely a really fun Bowser. <laughs> DK from the <laughs> I really enjoyed seeing those. Just having fun with it. Oh, yeah. So we got 